birth. It, it, it wasn't pre-planned and, and in detail, but it was a desire to do what we could in our generation to make Christ known. Day Spring was born. It was not created or crafted by market research and a lot of things like that. But that birth had seven long years of pregnancy in a print shop. And that pregnancy finally came to a birthing. And I could probably discuss pretty much when I knew it was born, when, when Day Spring was born and when the greeting cards were born. Our first greeting card, the Christmas card, uh, it, uh, spoke words that we did not know at the time, but were going to become embedded in the very heart of Day Spring. The words of the only thing that really matters when you get down to it is Jesus Christ. And I think the foundation, and we trust it'll always be the foundation of Day Spring, is it rests upon the solid rock of the Lord Jesus Christ and upon the kingdom of God. And as we play it out, as is done even now in Day Spring, having people all over the business that are praying in groups, that's part of the being lived out, the, the catalyst of the kingdom and, and the words that we had in that first reading card is very significant, I think, to what we're up about today. I really came to Day Spring to join a vision. I met the two founders in uh, April of 81, and uh, after I met them, I had a desire to integrate business and ministry and didn't know how to do that effectively when I met these two gentlemen that I got to know and, and really found a, a path that they were combining uh, their heart's desire to do what they could in their generation to make Christ known while at the same time doing that through a business platform. And uh, that got me excited. I was a young man uh, 27 years ago, and, and as, I, as I got to visit with them a few more times, I decided I wanted to join that vision. And so for me, it's been a, a terrific journey of seeing what God has been doing through integration of, of business and ministry. There's been some very tough, tough challenges over these years. It hasn't always just been an easy street situation. And uh, I've, come to the, I've come to this understanding that God has not promised us a business. He's only promised us if you will do everything you can to make me known, then I will bless and minister to you. We actually picked up the name of Dayspring from a magazine that was being published by uh, a, a minister at that time that we knew. And uh, each, uh, each one of the uh, covers had some form of water or waterfall, uh, and uh, we just loved the sound of it. And then we realized that this is really the name of Jesus, you know, that was applied to him. And we, we loved the name. We've seen so many reasons why Dayspring was a, was a right name, because of the, the burst of, of life and vitality. That, we felt that Dayspring was called to break through from some old traditions and break into ideas of freshness and relevance. And I think that was one thing that got blessed. We've come to believe that the romance of life is an adventure of faith. And uh, it is a joyful thing to step out into faith with your confidence in God and see Him come through. And that's been our journey in day spring as we stepped out in faith and the Lord's come through. He delights in faith. And I think he, sometimes He pities you, <laughs> but He honors the faith.